Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Freshworks uh, with Jira. First thing we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at uh, freshworks.com. As you can see, this is a dashboard. And if you want to check for integrations, we want to go to the freshworks.com and you want to hover over platform. And at the top right corner of this pop-up window, there's a marketplace. And once we are here, once we are redirected, we want to go to C CRM sales and marketing. We have to scroll down to the Freshworks CRM and we have to check for all this integration that are provided for us uh, by Freshworks. But unfortunately, there is no Jira, so we have to use the other way around. Uh, thankfully, there is a Zapier.com. So what we basically can do, we need to, uh, we can create ourselves an account here. It's quite mandatory for continuing to create this integration. And we want to go to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. Once we click here, we can name our zap like uh, Freshworks to Jira. And now to the integration. First one is a trigger. The trigger starts with the first application that uh, we want to put in this integration. In our case, it's Freshworks. As you can see, Freshworks CRM. There are, there are three options in trigger events. So let's go with the first one, for example. We hit continue. Now we have to um, uh, log in to the account that we created. Continue. And uh, now set up a trigger, all the filter name. Let's go with my contacts continue and uh, now we can we can test our trigger to the uh, second action second action is actually the application that is affected by this integration at this moment uh, we are looking for Jira so let's go to Jira there is a software cloud a software server or server or service desk uh, once you click on the software cloud, uh, there are different uh, action events. Then at, uh, let's for example, try server. And create an issue, attach files, update issue, or add a watcher to issue. So this is a trigger and this is an action. We hit continue. And the last thing you have to do is to actually login to the Jira account or Jira software uh, server. So yeah, that's about it. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video.